Jorge Bergoglio, otherwise known as uh, Pope Francis, uh, is our first Jesuit Pope. He's also the first Pope from Latin America. He's a Pope who apparently um, likes to sneak out at night and interact with people incognito. He takes uh, selfies in the Vatican Square with teenagers. This is a Pope who has uh, become the People's Pope. In fact, he was named as Times Man of the Year. This January at Second Presbyterian Church, we're going to be uh, doing a series on the Pope uh, entitled The Pope and a Protestant uh, and Jesus Walk into a Bar. The fact that Pope Francis has been an inspiration uh, to both Catholics and Protestants, I think, uh, provides us with a unique opportunity to, to take a fresh look at the, the Catholic-Protestant divide. And that's one of the things that we'll be doing in this series. A Pope like Pope Francis gives us the opportunity to perhaps move past that divide and, and to talk about what it is that unites us rather than what it is that divides us as Protestants and Catholics. There are a lot of questions that we'll be addressing in the course of this conversation between the Protestants, Catholics, and, and the Pope. Um, one of them is simply, you know, what what is Jesuit theology? Pope Francis is the first Jesuit Pope, and, and, and what does that mean? Uh, another question might be, why is it that the Pope has uh, chosen not to wear red Gucci um, shoes and instead wears his black loafers or drives around a Ford Taurus? What is it that has sparked the imagination uh, and inspired so many people about this simple pope from Argentina. And I think the answer is uh, that both Catholics and Protestants see that this is a pope who has modeled his life uh, following after the simple message of Jesus Christ. Understanding that he himself is flawed, uh, seeking with his life to reach out and to live the lifestyle of Christianity, of simplicity, and of loving one another. Not majoring on the doctrine but instead focusing on the relationship, an inclusive message of God's love and care, God's ability to reach out and touch every one of us. We hope you can join us.